Hey guys, my name is Miguel Francisco and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been such a long time since I've uploaded a video last, but I'm back now and I'm so excited to show you this look that I created using the Mini Controversy palette by Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. If you guys want to see how I created this look, then definitely keep on watching. Also, I may or may not be doing a giveaway on a Mini Controversy palette, so definitely stay tuned to the end of the video to find out all the details. So I went ahead and glued my eyebrows off camera and I used the Elmer's Purple Glue Stick to glue them down. I did about three to four layers of glue with um, Cody Airspun powder and extra translucent in between those. Next, I went ahead and took LA Girl Pro Concealer in the Orange Corrector shade and just put that over my eyebrows. As you know, an orange corrector is gonna go ahead and cancel out any blues and green undertones that may pull through from my eyebrow hair. Once that's all blended out, I'm just going to go ahead and set it using that same Cody Airspun powder. Now that my eyebrows are all set, I'm going to go in with some foundation. And the foundation I'm going to be using is the Mayron Cream Blend Sticks. And I'm taking the shade Ivory Bisque and I apply this over my eyebrows. And later on in the video, I'm going to apply this to the center of my face, like under my eyes and my chin. And this is just going to draw light and pull those features forward. And I'm blending this foundation out with a powder puff. Now taking that same Cody Airspun powder, I'm going to go ahead and set that foundation. I normally would set it with a powder puff, but I couldn't find an extra powder puff, so I just used a beauty blender. So since this is drag makeup, a lot of it is restructuring and redefining your face, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm taking this LA Girl pencil and remapping where I want my eye crease to be. And now for the star of the show, the Mini Controversy Palette by Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. I'm first going to dip into the shade Cancelled and just go over where I did the pencil and just start to map out and create my new eye shape. Once I have the desired eye shape and color payoff, I'm gonna go in with the next shade, which is the Simulation. And this is more of a royal blue shade and it does have a little bit of shimmer in it. And I'm gonna keep this a little bit lower and on the bottom of that eye crease, just to further intensify that depth and dimension of that gradient effect. And I find that the key to blending is really going back and forth with your different colors and making sure everything has a seamless blend. The next shade that I'm going to dip into is Controversy, and this is a really pretty vibrant purple shade, and I'm going to keep this at the very bottom of that new crease color for some dimension. I do got to say, I really wish there was a black, a matte black shade in this palette. I feel that if that was there, that would have really pulled this look together and further intensified that depth and dimension. Now that everything is placed and I have that eye shape that I want, I'm just gonna go back in with the brushes that I used previously with no additional product and make sure everything has a nice blend to it. Lastly, I'm gonna take the shade Flat Earth, which is this baby blue shade, and apply this to the very top of that eye just so Canceled has something to fade into. Moving on to the face, I'm taking that same color corrector from LA Girl and applying this to wherever I would have um, facial hair. And like I mentioned before, this is just gonna help cancel out those blues and green undertones from my facial hair. Next, we're gonna just set it with that same Cody Airspun powder, just so nothing mixes and moves around once I apply foundation. Sticking with the Mayron Cream Blend Sticks, I'm then going to take my base shade. I do got to say this is a little bit darker than what I would have liked, but I am going to make this work with the highlight shades that I'm going to use as well as the powders to set my face. I'm then just going to blend that out using a powder puff. I do have different powder puffs for each of the shades. I have one for my highlight shade, one for my base shade, and then another one for my contour shade, and I just use them accordingly. Now that that's all blended out, I'm going to go back in with my highlight shade, which is the Ivory Bisque, and apply this under my eyes and over my lip. And what this is just going to do is it's going to bring light to the center of my face and pull those features forward. Because as I said before, you are kind of redefining and reshaping your face. So a lot of this is playing with highlights and shadows and contours 
and just creating that face shape and structure that you want. And now just like our eyes, we need to add some depth and dimension to our face. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Medium Ebony and apply this to create some new cheekbones. I'm also gonna use this shade to cut down my jawline and create a more soft and feminine face shape. And apply this under my chin to create a shadow there so that eliminates that look of a double chin. And then once again, just going in with a powder puff to blend this all out. So this may look like a lot of makeup, and that's because it is. It is drag makeup, and what I'm doing is I'm creating a female illusion. So you typically wouldn't use the same amount of makeup that I'm using, but the concepts still apply with shadows and highlights for an everyday makeup look. So now I'm going to go in with a little bit of a lighter shade than what I use with my contour. And honestly, I think this is what should have been my base shade, but for some reason I grabbed that other one. And I'm just gonna apply this shade under where I did my contour on the hollows of my cheeks, and that's just gonna further intensify that shadow of the cheekbones. So just like we did with eyeshadows, I'm gonna go in with my foundation powder puffs and make sure everything is blended and to the capacity of pigmentation that I want. And that's just what I'm doing. I'm going back and forth with the different colors and kind of overlapping each of them just so they blend smoothly. And now to cut this nose down and make it a little bit more pinched and narrow, I'm taking that contour shade and applying it on the inner sides of the bridge of the nose, kind of a little bit more closer together than a normal everyday person would do. And I'm just blending that out with an eyeshadow blending brush. And then I'm just gonna take that highlight shade from before and put that down the center of my nose. So now that our foundation is blended out, we need to ensure that it lasts all night and we can do this by setting it with powders. And what I'm gonna do first is use that Cody Airspun powder in translucent extra coverage and apply this where I applied my highlight shades or my lighter shades of foundation. And later on, I'm gonna go in with a Ben Nye powder in the shade Buff and apply this in the same places where I applied my lighter foundations. And this is just gonna further bring out those highlights. And now for the rest of my face, I'm going to take a Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade Beige Suede and really use this to ensure that my foundation is locked into place. In the drag community, they say this is beating your face because you are applying a good amount of pressure um, on that powder puff to your face to ensure everything is locked in. Because as you know, drag queens are performers and they perform on stage under lights and they're dancing and, and they do sweat. So they really want to make sure that that foundation lasts all night. And here's where I'm taking that other Ben Nye powder in the shade Buff and applying this to the same highlight shades as I did before. And this powder does have more of a pigment shade, so this is really going to pull those highlights um, that I did with the foundation, pull them through, and intensify them. I'm also applying this under my cheekbones, and this is just going to do the same thing that it did with the cream foundation. It's just going to cut that cheekbone to make it a little bit more of a dramatic um, contrast. So for my powdered contour, I'm actually taking an eyeshadow palette and I'm using the James Charles and Morphe palette and I'm taking the shade Code James for my first um, contour shade. I do like to do my contours a lot like I do my eyeshadows. I start off with the lightest shade and then further deepen it and deepen it um, with each shade that I add. So this is going to be the lightest shade of my contours. I guess you could consider it my bronzer, um, but I am just going to apply this um, to the same places I applied the darker foundation. And really this is just going to help blend um, those darker powder contours that I apply a little bit later and um, really just blend into that highlight shade. And now for the next shade of contour, I'm taking the shade 10% off. And applying this the same places I applied Code James, but I'm just not taking it up onto the cheekbones as high, and I'm not bringing it as far down to the forehead as I did with the previous shade. For the deepest shade of contour, I'm actually using a powder foundation, and I'm keeping this to the very back of that cheekbone and the very bottom of the cheekbone as well. For my nose contour, I'm going back into the shade Code James, and applying this using a fluffy blending brush. 
And I'm then going to clean up the edges of that nose contour with the Van Eye Powder and Buff. And for my nose highlight, I'm going to take a Max Shimmering White and apply this down the center of my nose. And the pure white pigment of this contrasted to the nose contour is really going to help exaggerate that nose and make it look a lot slimmer. And for blush, I'm going to take the blush in the shade Pompamous, and I believe this was a Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics collaboration. Now that my face is pretty much done, I'm going to go back into my eyes and kind of touch up what I feel needs to be touched up and what I feel needs to have a little bit more pigment and color payoff. I'm also going to clean up some blending as well. And for my eyelid, I'm going to go ahead and take Ben Nye's Clown White, and this is just a pure white shade that I'm going to apply to the entire lower portion of my eye where we don't have the shadow. This is also going to help clean up that purple shade that I applied and make that line nice and sharp. So for my eyelid color, I was really having a hard time finding um, what shade to use for my eyes. I did try to use um, Flat Earth, but I didn't feel like it was giving and portraying the color story that I was really going for. So I just went ahead and set that con white with some translucent powder and skipped on over to eyeliner. Moving on to the lower lash line, I went back into the Sade Controversy and applied this closest to my lash line and to that eyeliner wing. Next, I followed that using the shade Exposed, which is more of a lilac violet shade. It's a really nice light purple shade. And I just used this to create that nice gradient effect. And lastly, I took the lightest amount of flat earth and applied this at the very bottom of those shadows. So for my lower lash line, I am also exaggerating that a little bit. So I am taking it further down from my natural lash line and then just filling everything else black. However, I am going to kind of taper it to a point as I get closer to my nose. So having the eyes open in the inner corner and up in a diagonal motion is really going to help the eyes appear larger and also more diagonal cat eye-like. And it's going to give the overall illusion of a snatched back pulled up kind of look, especially as I'm applying this clown white, it's really going to open up the eyes and make them look a little bit larger than they really are. Dipping back into the James Charles palette, I'm going to take the shade Skip, which is this neon pink shade on a duo fiber brush and apply this for blush. I went ahead and drew and sketched out my eyebrows off camera because I really was struggling with this. But to clean them up and to add a little bit of brow highlight, I'm going to dip into that shimmering white shade from MAC, as well as Flat Earth. So like I mentioned to you guys before, I really was struggling on what to put on my eyelid. And I did find this Stila Liquid Shadow that I had, and it had a shiny blue hue to it. So I thought it tied into the whole storyline and color palette that I was using. So I did apply a little bit too much of that clown white shade and didn't set it properly, so it did transfer over to my eyeliner, which is why I have those white pieces on my wing liner. And I'm just going to take a blush called Blackberry from Anastasia Beverly Hills and kind of marry that contour and blush together. For lashes, I am taking three pairs of 301 lashes stacked together. And I'm applying this in a diagonal motion with the inner corner starting at my natural lash line and the outer corner about halfway up on my eyelid. And what this is going to do is it's just going to further intensify that upward motion of that snatched back look together with the way the shadows drawn on as well as that eyeliner on the lower lash line. And then finally with the lashes, it's really going to help pull everything up. And moving on to lips, I went ahead and took this lip pencil that I got at the beauty supply store. It really doesn't have a specific brand, but it's just a burgundy lip pencil that I had that closely matched the lipstick that I'm going to use. 
And I'm just using this as a guide um, for my lipstick. I'm not over drawing my lips. I'm just following my natural lip line and using this to know where to apply the lipstick. Next, I'm just going to fill in that lip liner with my lipstick and I'm using a MAC lipstick in the Sadu Raja. And I believe this was part of the Aladdin collection, um, which was limited edition, but I'm just using this to fill in that lip liner. And for that ombre effect, I'm going to go in with another lipstick from MAC, and this is in the shade Yash. And I'm going to focus this on the center of my lips, both upper and lower, and that's just going to create some dimension and depth. But to further add that dimension and take it a step further, I am going to apply that Ben Nye's Clown White and apply this to the inner portion of my lips and just pat them together to blend it all out. And now that the lips are done, we are pretty much done with this look. I'm just going to go back in with some finishing touches under my eyes. And I'm also going to touch up my eyeshadow, going back into that shade Expose and Controversy, and just drag out that purple shade. Hey guys, thank you for sticking around this far in the video. As mentioned, I am going to be doing a giveaway on the Mini Controversy palette. And all you have to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up, and drop an orange heart in the comments down below. I'm also going to be doing another giveaway on my Instagram, which is at Miguel Francisco. I'm going to have more details in the description box down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.